Now I have some congratulations to render uh, because here on Good Evening Ghana, that's why we have Plato and I'm straight in my jacket. That's why we have Plato and Aristotle. And uh, I have some congratulations to render because we really like and appreciate, especially politicians who like to learn. And in that regard, uh, over the last weekend, none, none, none beat uh, the NDC Sotokuno. Guess what? He bashed a PhD from the University of Ghana in agricultural economics. Uh, Otokuno did that. Uh, the bearded man, Otokuno. You know, I, I like Otokuno because he's a revolutionary. In those days, uh, he sang the song, Revolution, you know, uh, Revolution has come to stay. Kades may go, Kades may come. There in your shirt says Otokuno. Ah, that's his uh, trademark laughter. Otokuno over there. Congratulations, Chief. This is just brilliant. He, he, he's in opposition and he took time off to perform a PhD studies. That's not a joke. Yeah, there he goes, he mounts, he puts the thing on. The NDC's Deputy General Secretary, Otokuno, he backed a PhD in uh, agriculture economics. Are we looking at a future Greek minister? Is Dr. Uso Efriakoto watching? Ah, uh, Otokuno did so well. I am so proud of this guy, man. <laughs> He's a General Secretary. The only problem is that his boss is John Sinasi Dunketia, who is the... Uh, you see, who is the general secretary of the NDC? As I said, Ketia, your guy has backed the PhD. Maybe you need one too. That's just a joke, by the way. But Otokuno, congratulations. This is, this is truly amazing. Truly, truly amazing. Congratulations to Dr. Otokuno. Uh, I salute you, sir, for dedicating yourself to study something that in your role as a politician, you are equipping yourself with knowledge so that you can add to what you came to meet and make Ghana a better place. Otokuno, congratulations. He wasn't the only one who... who um, who bagged a degree. Uh, Abronya DC from BA, the, the MPP's uh, Bono Regional Chairman, a very, very good friend of mine, a brutal guy, Abronya DC. So you see Abronya talking on radio all the time. That's not the only thing he does. Abronya went down to study. He's achieved an MSc in energy. Can you put up Abronya's photograph? Uh, if you have it, Abronya DC. Oh, I hope they do. Oh, I wanted this photograph in their capi. This one, he was in action. Uh, anyway, that's Abronya DC. Abronya, congratulations, my brother. Um, I know that you and your friend Kennedy Japan are mounting a presidential campaign. Good luck to you. Uh, but Abronya DC has demonstrated that even with his excessive duties as a um, regional chairman of the Bono region, to which he has been re-elected, congratulations, Abronya bagged an MSc from Gimpa. And uh, the other one who bagged an MSc, which is also very applaudable, is uh, um, A+. Plus. A plus, who is usually on the UTV's entertainment program, a very straight talker. Uh, a plus, a, a plus, Ubo Nyumache, Ubo Nyumache. It's been a while. That your last song, we enjoyed this part. It says that contrast, Vibeba Ukuji, to Adam Fobefa, something like that, you know. <laughs> Abom, ab, ab, Bebo. Yes, I remember that. A plus, you see the Ubo Nyumache, but congratulations to A plus as well. He also backed the degree from Gimpa, and many, many others who did so. Uh, I like to see young adults who want to learn. Uh, A plus, congratulations. John Dumelo, J. Melo, also did. Uh, and apparently he attended the event in a Wellington booth. You have to give it to John Dumelo. He'd run for parliament. He didn't win. He decided to implement his ideas. He went into farming. He's doing great at farming. Every now and then you see social media. He's harvesting something. Uh, we don't know yet whether he wants to run for parliament again. But it was a good decision for him to put himself out for the principles that he believes in. And I thoroughly respect him for that. He ran, he's friend, very close friends to John Mahama, of course, you know that. And, uh, and he ran for the Ayawasu West Wogan constituency. He lost narrowly by 4,000, and, um, and, and he did well. Now he's into farming, not just farming, but he finds time also to go to school to learn. He doesn't see himself as knowing everything. He sees himself as learning every day. That's the spirit that I always congratulate. Jamelo, congratulations. These days, I don't know your number anymore, because the number of your phone, when I call, it doesn't come. I'm sure that during the campaign, you change your number. So please, if you have my number, uh, text me and then let's do an interview. We've been planning an interview for since 2016, Jamelo. It's now, uh, what, uh, four, six years now. So please, uh, I think that I'm now entitled to secure an interview from you, especially now that you've backed the degree. Hopefully you go on and back another one and another one and another one until one day, who knows, maybe you become Speaker of Parliament. <laughs> All right, so that's John Dumelo. Congratulations to him as well uh, for bagging the degree. Now there is. <laughs>